Yes, welcome to the Members Club. Thank you very much. So that's on the midfielder. But I suppose the more interesting um, scenario here is that um, in relation to Harry Maguire, and you're probably not going to know... Um, you're probably not going to like this, but the, the the latest on Harry Maguire, FK, thank you. We had Fabrizio on the show yesterday, and he said that Manchester United, um, Eric Ten Hag and Maguire are going to sit down this week and discuss. What I was told last night about the midfielder and about the Maguire situation from somebody close to the situation, well, obviously it's not Harry Maguire, um, there is confusion here. There is confusion. And what I was told is, there needs to be a leader on this. Which is funny because Maguire's the captain. So maybe he could finally show some leadership skills. It's a joke. But no, this is what is going on. There is confusion because Ten Hag doesn't know what centre-back he's going to get if he's going to get one. So he's like, I don't mind keeping Maguire as my third, fourth choice centre-back because he's my third, fourth choice centre-back. And, you know... Ultimately, I haven't got many centre-backs if Maguire goes. So Ten Hag is like, you're not my first choice, but I don't mind keeping you as my third, fourth choice centre-back like last year. Maguire knows he's third, fourth choice, doesn't want to be that, wants to play. But ultimately, basically what I was told is if they have that meeting, Ten Hag is probably not going to say, get out my club like some managers would. And Maguire is not going to go in and say, I desperately want to leave. So the confusion is that they might actually sit there with neither of them showing leadership in relation to making a decision. And they actually just sit there and go, let's see what happens next year. And I said, well, how can that happen? Because Maguire's England starting centre-back, but he can't get near the United team. And what I was told is, well, it just depends what's said in that meeting. If Ten Hag says, I'm happy for you to stay as, as a centre-back option, and Maguire reads that, that if he works hard, he'll win his place as the first-team starter, or there's injuries, he'll be first start, Maguire might take the risk of staying again. What I was told is, what it needs is, is actual strong from both sides. Ten Hag needs to go in and say, if I got Kim Min Jae, you'd be up for sale. If I get another centre-back, I don't need you. And Maguire needs to go in and say, I need to start, I need to start every week. And the answer will be there for them clearly because Maguire will realise that Ten Hag wanted to replace him and Ten Hag will re realise that Maguire wants to start every week and he can't and they'll part ways. But there is this theory that they will have this meeting this, this week and it will be a confusing meeting because Ten Hag doesn't know whether he's getting a centre-back so may well say, I'm happy for you to stay as one of my options and Maguire might read that so you're telling me there's a chance and stay. They need to part ways, but there might be confusion from both. And what I was told is, you can't blame Ten Hag for that. You can't blame Maguire for that. Again, you've got to blame the Glazers for that. Because Ten Hag's got to think about his squad. And if Maguire goes and he doesn't get a centre-back, of course you're going to set keep Maguire as a fourth-choice centre-back. But then that makes Maguire think he's got a chance. So, ultimately... We don't know whether Maguire will leave or not because we lack leadership. And hello, we lack leadership because we don't know who our bloody owners are. So it's a it's a nightmare. And this, and also, I, I wasn't told this, but you can say the same about McTominay. McTominay's going to have the same chat. Ten Hag's going to say, I like having you around here as an option. Um, and McTominay's going to read that as, yay, I'm a Man United player, I'm going to stay. It needs... Look, unfortunately, these things leak out from the club. And as much as everybody's happy with Ten Hag, the message coming out from a lot of people is that we need clarity on the ownership because there's no real leadership through the club. Players will be kept because they think they've got a chance. Players will be kept because there's no replacements coming in. If we had had a strong summer transfer window, we'd have Kim Min Jae, Maguire would be gone. We'd have another midfielder, McTominay would be gone. You know, we'd have two strikers, Martial would be gone. But we haven't got strong leadership. We haven't had the summer we want. We haven't got the centre-back. We haven't got the second midfielder. And Mc McTominay and Maguire can survive because of that. Unless they walk in and go, we want first-team football, we're leaving. But I think we're, we all know that they're questionable in relation to that. They both strike me as players that will just hang around thinking, well, I'm part of Man United. I'll sit on the bench and take my chances. So it's a confusion. Um, and of course, those two players... 
are two players you could make some money on to bring other players in. So in essence, you actually just stay the same. And if you stay the same in football, you actually fall behind. So Maguire and McTominay and Martial um, could all end up being part of the team next season because they're not going to force a move and therefore we're not going to make the money to bring other players in. And, and and that's the confusing thing at the moment. So, yeah, just this meeting from Ten Hag this week, I wouldn't expect anything major to come out of it because that's the feeling goes close by saying, well, you just you don't get the feeling there's going to be a meeting where Ten Hag says you're on the transfer list or the player walks in and says, I want to be sold. You get the feeling they'll both walk into it sort of like, what are you going to say? Well, what are you going to say? And that'll just mean more of the same. What's the chances of a lone striker for a uh, similar to Veghorst? Hopefully more goals, but could make sense. Aussie Devil, if you think a club of Man United stature that is trying to close the gap on Arsenal and Man City and go deep in the Champions League should be signing players on loan and what player that would be on loan, please give us some options. But, I mean, the only one that comes to my mind, and I don't even know if he's available for loan anymore, would be João Felix. And he was very, very expensive. So I don't think you can rely on...